Hey guys and welcome to the brand new series on my channel which is going to be Gunning for Glory and in the series we're going to be doing the Arsenal Road to Glory. It's going to be a really fun series I think. There's a lot of uh, gold players actually at Arsenal. There's more than Chelsea, there's uh, quite a few nice silvers and there's most likely going to be some good upgrades. The likes of uh, Cochlean Chambers and Bellerin I reckon all those lots should be able to get an upgrade and Sanchez of course. So we're looking at about 650,000. Uh, we've got a few informs on the checklist, but we'll get to that when we get there, of course. To start off, we had just that I'd sell all these players and um, give us the option to be able to trade. That would be a good thing for the series, of course. It is kind of crazy how much these players have dropped. Uh, Matic is only like 1,500. Picked him up for 6K, and like the first few players, like Czech, Oscar, and Fabregas, they've all gone down by half. So. Yeah, it just shows how much the market does go down, but a few of the bronzes and silvers actually went up quite a bit. So, just looking at the trade pile, um, we've actually got all these players. So, Kane we picked up for like 800 coins, sold him on for nearly 5,000. Kurt Zuma sold him on for 14,000, have to pick him up for 3,000. So, generally we've made a decent amount. It's um, a nice amount of money. We've still got all these contracts and kits to sell so eventually we sent over the coins to the new account and uh, yeah we picked up the kits the badges and the stadiums of course just to give it a nice vibe to start this series and um, the kits were actually quite expensive I was surprised like so far on in FIFA they're like 500 600 coins per kit so yeah we've already got an Arsenal player in this uh, account so what we're going to do is take him off the checklist straight away it'll be a nice thing he's untradeable there's no point in really waiting and then picking him up and it'll be a nice way to start off this series and if you do want to pause it of course there is the checklist. We've only got Chesney, Wilshire, and Welbeck because they're the only ones around the 100k mark. All the other ones are quite expensive and um, we've still got the upgrades to go. So heading into our first game, we come against a nice three at the back team. And we go into the very first minute of this game and Boney passes it to Ramsey. And I was wondering why the camera angle is like this. I don't know how people play with it. It's horrible defending wise. Like I couldn't do anything and he just walks through Forster with not exactly the best save in the world. Let's it go into the back of the net from Vargas to make it 1-0 in the game. Of course, not exactly the best start of this series, but we have got Lewandowski at left back, so I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get back into this game. And that is what we do here in the 15th minute of the match. Grenny, I believe, picks up the ball on the uh, middle of the pitch here, passes it forward from the centre-back. And Grenny is a quality little player. I've never used him on this game, but in this uh, first game, he just played really well and got the goal here in the 15th minute to make it 1-1 in the game. A nice cut inside and a smash into the top right-hand corner. And for saying he's only got like 66 pace, I don't know if it's because we are playing against these like bronze players, he's doing really, really well in this game. So we enter the 23rd minute, of course, Cazola on that left-hand side with his number 19. And he's not as bad, like look there, he just goes straight past that fullback, cuts it inside to Pozo, and then he puts it into the back and it eventually going to have to pass the keeper. And Pozo, like he's 56 rated, right but he's actually quality at like dribbling. I don't know if his agility is really high or something, but he is actually quite good for chemistry, of course, getting a strong link into Cazola. So... We head to the 45th minute of the match here and we do eventually get the ball forward to Ashley Younger. Nice killer ball. Puts it into the bottom right-hand corner and makes it 3-1 just before half-time. And from conceding that first goal in the first minute, uh, we really got back into this game against this guy. And I don't think he can really defend too well. So we enter the 54th minute of the match here. Uh, Grenny again on this left-hand side. Cuts inside eventually into Pozo. Who does put it into the back and it was kind of an own goal. But nevertheless, we make it 4-1. And then we head to the 66th minute. Grenny again. A brilliant player. I don't know if any of you guys have used him on this game, but yeah, his passing and shooting and dribbling, just really quality. Pozo finishes off the game to make it 5-1. I thought he actually got a hat-trick in this game, but then I realised he actually uh, got the own goal, of course. But yeah, leave a comment down below if you think I should still have the hat-trick bonus in this series, because it was very handy in the uh, Chelsea one. But of course, we are starting off with the 120,000, so... Yeah, leave your thoughts down below if you uh, think we should add it or not. So, yeah, two goals for Pozo, an own goal, and a goal for Grenier, and a goal for Ashley Young. And we are going to make the first signing. I don't know, Cazola was kind of a signing at the same time. But nevertheless, 400 coins for Josh Vickers. Not exactly the best goalkeeper in the world, but there are quite a few goalkeepers. There's Martinez, uh, Ospina, and of course Chesney, and the informed Chesney. So, we've got plenty of goalkeepers to go through. And, of course, we do tick him off the checklist. Give him the number, like, 57, I think that's his number anyway. And, um, yeah, put him into the team. He's a decent player, not too bad, and uh, he'll do an okay job for now. So we head into our second game of this series, and uh, we come against the guy who's got a decent team. I think he's got Lukaku and uh, Fellaini and Blaszczykowski and Szczesny. So there are some pretty good players. They're not exactly in the best of positions, but nevertheless, we head into the game. He pauses the game in the first minute and quits. Like, what's the point in that? There's uh, wasting contracts. It's really annoying on my half, of course, starting off in a new series. Is going to be quite difficult uh, contract-wise, but I think there are quite a few in this uh, count. So 
Of course, we're going to have to head into our second slash third game. Um, hopefully, this guy doesn't rage quit and we can get a win on the board. That'll be quite nice. And he's got an okay team. He's got Babel and uh, Mauricio. He's actually gone to Lazio on a transfer, which is quite a nice deal. So, we enter the 45th minute of the match here just before half time. He's got a thrown on this uh, right hand side of the pitch. And we do win the ball with Cazola. Puts it through to Grenier. Grenier with his left foot puts it into the bottom left hand corner to make it 1 0 just before half time. Another nice goal for the Frenchman in this series. It will be kind of nice if Arsenal signed him, but I don't think they really need another attacking midfield player. So we head into the 76th minute of the match here, and of course, Grenny again on the edge of the area creates the chance and gets the goal to make it 2 0. He's just so good. I don't know if it's because we are coming against really crap plays, but um, yeah, he's just performing really well. And we do, of course, get the three points from that game, which is quite nice. But unfortunately, this game is a little bit broken, and I believe we get a disconnect, which is so frustrating because that means we do get a loss on the ball we get the dnf and it doesn't get us through to uh onto six points so we're going to make a signing it is a really frustrating thing on this account and um well no generally me playing fifa with my connection it disconnects me at least one in three games which is really annoying of course so taking off bellerin off the checklist who is 7700 coins which is kind of silly i know he's got 84 pace but um i don't know about that is a little bit of an extortionate price so we're going to head into the next game and hopefully we don't disconnect in this one because that would be quite frustrating of course and um, yeah we're just getting nowhere if we keep disconnecting. So we head into the game and come against another guy who's got Neuer in net but apart from that he's got Mono Del Morel, uh, Pepe and a decent right back. So we head into the game and in the 22nd minute of the match here put the ball out wide to Ashley Young who just does such an easy goal like we just put it across to Pozo who does get another goal for us. I think that's about his fifth goal so far for a 56 rate of bronze player that's not bad at all. So we head into the 30th minute of the match here. Grenier just literally walks straight through the middle of his defence. Yeah, I don't know if he couldn't defend or something. He's got Neuer and Net who didn't exactly do too much in this game. And we make it 2-0 to make it uh, a good early lead in the game. That's always nice for us. And, of course, getting another goal for Grenier who has been absolutely fantastic so far in this series. And then in the last 10 minutes of the game, we get a corner. We start to do some kicky up. He's trying to drag out a few players because he's got about seven or eight players in the box and eventually pass it to Cazola. Cazola with a nice cross into the box and Pozo like five foot six wins the header puts it past Noy and makes it 3-0. So that is how the game does end but unfortunately again we get the disconnect so that's kind of frustrating but if you want another episode of Gunning for Glory out for tomorrow get 25 likes on this video and do that for about 7.30 tomorrow that'd be quite nice of course if not I think it'll be Tuesday the next episode uh, maybe Monday we'll have to see of course so yeah, smash the like button if you get 25 likes. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Subscribe if you're on your channel and see you soon. Bye.